Robichaud. Some Republicans in the Oregon legislature are calling for immediate action in high school sports after a male student competed against girls in a track meet this weekend and finished second in two races. Yeah, they say the OSAA should only allow biological women to compete. And KZI 9 News reporter Joey Vaca is live tonight in the studio. Tell us about the letter that they sent to the OSAA. That's right, Matt and Renee. Twelve Republican women signed the letter that was sent to the executive director of the Oregon School Activities Association, Peter Weber. and includes Representative Christine Goodwin from Canyonville, Representative Jamie Kate from Lebanon, and Shelley Bosher Davis from Albany. They want the board to take immediate action to protect equal rights of women after what they call an unfortunate situation this weekend. They say a 10th grade boy at McDaniel High School competed in the Sherwood Need for Speed Classic in the girls division. The athlete came in second in the 200 meters, second in the 400 and seventh in the 100 meter relay. They say policy 38 of the OSAA handbook on gender identity participation says your gender identity rule promotes harmony and fair competition among member schools. They say this policy has the opposite effect. Instead of promoting harmony, it has sparked outrage. Instead of ensuring a fair competition, a biological male has found a place in the female sports record books and they say any girl's title held by a male is not a girl's title at all. These are pictures from the track meet in Sherwood. The lawmakers say the OSAA's policy leads them to believe they don't deem girls sports worthy of protecting. And it creates opportunities for boys who can't compete at the highest levels against their male peers to compete instead in female sports. The lawmakers say they want the OSAA to provide a solution for families who want answers. They say they'll seek a statutory change in the 2025 session to remove all records set by male students allowed to compete in girls sports and award those achievements to the biological female student who should have won. They're also going to encourage parents and girls to stand up by withdrawing from competitions where male athletes are allowed to participate. Just before our 6 o'clock show, I spoke with Representative Christine Goodwin of Canyonville, who explains the motivation behind the move. We are ignoring the biological differences between men and women. There are many arenas that men and women can compete fairly, uh, such as the legislature. But in the area of sports, no, they cannot. There is clear biological differences, and you just have to be ideologically blind not to know that or see that. Representative Goodwin says women are being denied a fair playing field, which she says is the whole point of Title IX. And when asked about people calling the move transphobic, Goodwin says the group is not against transgender people, but she says they're against males competing against girls. And they're also going to encourage parents and girls, like we said, to stand up by withdrawing from those competitions where male athletes are allowed to participate. Peter Weber with the OSAA says they'll be consulting with their executive board and with counsel to provide a response to the lawmakers. Reporting live in the studio, Joey Vaca, KZI 9 News.